In this, in this video, I'm going to be showing you six graphic design templates that you would need. Templates I will be highlighting are necessary for both the pre-conference or pre-service during and afterwards a conference or service. Now let's dive into the six of them. Before we continue, I want you to smash the like button, click the subscribe for more video content on church media. Number one is the main flyer. And this main flyer is going to have different formats, of course. So when we come to, um, in this day and age, they have different mediums people are going to be viewing. It's either someone is viewing with a tablet, either someone is viewing with a phone or a laptop, or whatever means anyone is using to access the internet. Now, your main flyer is going to have the full, concise details of everything concerning the, what it is you're trying to communicate. If it's, a, if it's a flyer for a program, if it's a flyer for Sunday service, if it's a flyer for showing your content of media, you have to be as concise as possible in the main flyer. Now in the main flyer, things like the dates, things like the theme, things like the guest speaker, the hosts. If it's a theme for a yearly conference, the yearly conference maybe is things like maybe with what, what you have, Shiloh, yearly, Shiloh is a yearly event that Living Faith has. Okay, so it's a yearly stuff, but every, every Shiloh has the theme for the year. So now, you will also have to include that particular theme of the year. You have to include um, guest speaker. The main flyer emphasis should be as concise as possible. It should carry out the major details. Number two is the countdown flyer. Okay, now the countdown flyer or is basically that flyer that you want to use to show people um, the time frame or time duration between that period and the program or service let's say for instance this one i'm giving is for actually major major programs that you have now your countdown flyer helps people to keep track of the time frame between when they with that day and the coming program it also helps them to keep emphasis on it as it gets closer it's usually advised that your time countdown flyer should not be too long and should not be too short and by by theory it is expected that it should be 14 days but should not be more than 30 days so it should try as much as possible to keep your countdown flyer not too long not some, not 60 days no 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 it should not be too should not be more than 30 days it should not be less than 14 days to the start of the main event number three is the participation flyer participation flyer helps in what i call the user generated content now the reason i call it the user generated content is that it helps create a certain kind of buzz and involvement of your audience in what you are doing it helps personalize whatever it is that you are doing beyond just what you're saying yeah these people now begin i don't know if you've seen around where you say i am attending now what that does is it helps people promote the program because they are involved in the program it's like a form of word of mouth that spreads because this person says i am attending that person will be like what program is this person wanting to attend now that's that's that is the technology behind it now, that's one of the things you should incorporate the purpose is simply to help personalize that program to reach a wider audience so number four is testimonials now testimonials in this sense is this um, i believe one of the most powerful things that you need graphics design for is testimonials yes um, testimonials perform two functions one is that it helps as a means of evangelism number two is that it helps convey the possibilities or the things that have been your, the manifestations of god that he has done testimonials is simply recording taking note or taking note of the things maybe it's, whether it is good uh, promotion whether it is healings deliverances those notable things that has been done when expressed outside it helps build faith or express the manifestations of god to help communicate the gospel number five we have photo watermark now the photo watermark is simple every photograph that is taken should have a record now because photographs are still motion beyond just having a photograph there should be an information that is communicated to people as to either when the photograph was taken what the event was about so what your foot what your um what your photo watermark does is that it gives your audience an information about whatever picture they are seeing so um it helps communicate both the event, the day, and most likely the year. If it's a yearly event, if you, shilo, if you see the photo watermark, you would see that it would carry the yearly event. It should also carry the theme of that year's event and the day, the particular day. The reason is because you're trying to communicate and give information about that particular picture. 100 years from now, 10 years from now, if someone sees that picture, he should know exactly when that picture was taken what the picture was taken about how it was and things like that. those are the kind of information you're trying to give with the photo watermark and it should be something that you consider to incorporate 
into your graphics designs. Number six, we have word nuggets. If you've seen any major program, you would notice that there is always quotes of highlighted things that a minister has said. Now, the reason is because there are some people, people who weren't able to attend those programs should at least have a feel of touching things that were said. Your word nuggets that you're trying to do is they're trying to pick out, if you want to call it punchlines, we're trying to pick out important points, salient messages that should be driven down to your audience, written down in a way that would help communicate the same meaning as when it was said. That's also an important thing that you should incorporate in your a template that you should involve, especially when you're planning any major program. You should have a template for word nugget. It could be one design, it could be two designs, it could be different designs. Just have a tweak around it. That's why it's called a template. Have a tweak around it, but it should be involved in the dispensation of your graphics design for any major program. I would want you to smash the like button click on subscribe if you want more videos on church media thank you for watching